Hello, hello. I'm in the studio today and I'm going to show you <laughs> what I packed for today's shoot because it's kind of a monstrosity to be honest. Uh, I just walked down the streets of Vancouver with this and I am I got a few looks thinking that perhaps I was moving house with my child's wagon. So um, because it's such an odd haul, I thought I would kind of pick through it with you and show you what I got. So you'll have to pardon the really bad audio and video because all my gear is packed in <laughs> this crap. So bear with me and I'm gonna pick it apart with you because yes, it literally is all tied down with rope because I had to bring a well, studio with me to the studio. <laughs> so bear with me while I quickly just untie this because I really wasn't convinced that it was gonna stay on my wagon the whole way through. So I'm really glad I brought rope because <laughs> it was very bad. So to start with, I brought a chair. Uh, this is just like a struck tube one, so just super chill, nice and clean. Um, today I have the studio for a little bit of time for myself, so I'm gonna be spending an hour doing content creation. So I brought a wardrobe with me because ah, I don't wear this all day. And then I have my... Tabletop first. So this is super handy. This is just an IKEA tabletop, so I can just screw on the table legs, which is makes it very mobile and super easy. And oh, yep, it's not a permanent box to work. <laughs> and then here we got tripod for all filming behind the scenes portraits. This will be my stands for all of my lights. stand and it works really great it's pretty heavy duty I can send links to any of these if you guys want them so I'm just gonna pop this bad boy right here um, mount for my my pro photo the D10 and I have my big octobox as well I do have some extra tripods and stuff but I don't think I'm gonna need those today so just hold for nothing so I'm gonna put those over here for now session so because it's kind of a work situation I got a few things coffee mug so we can throw it on the table I have my laptop tablet books glasses just sort of extra filler things props that we can use on the desk that I just called up here so that's this bag I have my dual harness because I'm gonna be shooting a little bit of YouTube content later I'm gonna be comparing my two lenses my uh, or not two lenses three lenses I'm gonna be comparing them all Keep an eye out, you're going to be having some more time with me, so I'll use that for later. Watch bottle. Oh, that's a bit loud. Me stand on my ear. So this one, I'm going to bring you up here. So you can see what I got going on here. So as always, I use my Pelican case. It just keeps it safe. I don't have to worry about it as much because it's expensive. Um, so this is inside my Pelican case. So. Um, what I'm going to be shooting with today, we have, sorry, I'm getting a little dizzy. So I've got my, my pro photo, the B10 plus that is going to be going on my, um, with my Octobox, the attachment there, which I'll show you that in a second. I have my trigger, which is actually going to, well, trigger my light. Uh, this is going to be, um, probably one of my go-to lenses today. It is my, I've got my Canon R6, which are my two trusty cameras that I always shoot with. This is the 50 mil, the 1.2, which I absolutely love. And then this is my 28 to 70, which as you know, like it's just been such a go-to lens in the last little while. Um, very versatile, especially in the studio. So I absolutely love that. But since I'm having shoulder issues, I'm probably gonna switch it out and use my 35 for quite a lot. This is the 1.8. Uh, I just, the weight of this is, is pretty intense. So I'll be using my 35 quite a bit. I have my, my Canon remote because well, I'm doing portraits and have you ever tried doing portraits where you're trying to like set a self timer and get behind it? 
It's not worth it for anyone. So I have my remote that will save a ton of hassle. Um, I always have my speaker with me, music, changes everything, extra batteries, extra SD cards. I have my voice recorder because, well, the audio on this is not great. And I do plan on do it, filming some content later. So I will be you know, connecting all this so I'm not filming on my phone because, well, we all know how that turns out. <laughs> Um, I have a couple GoPros with me. One's going to be attached to my camera with the mount. The other one is going to be on my tripod, capturing behind the scenes because life these days, it's all about video content, even though we're photographers. So I will be filming behind the scenes and, but not taking away from my client, which I think is really, really important. So um, I'm going to show you the pro photo. I'm going to throw that on my on my stand with the Octobox and then I'm gonna show you the studio, set it up and you can kind of see why it was worth hauling a wagon. <laughs> uh, I really don't know why these are not easier. I know they have some easier Octoboxes, but the ones are, that I have found so far are not the size that I need. I do wanna try and add a larger one to my kit. This is the three foot Octobox. And I find it works really well for what I'm using and what I need it for. It's just oh, it takes longer than I would like to set up each time. At least once it's set up, it then does its own thing while I do it. And then I can take my light, pop it in here. I'm ready to go. So I really hope that kind of gave you an insight as to what I'll take on a typical branding shoot. Because, well, I say typical, I don't always haul this much crap. Often the studios that I rent have chairs, tables. Today is a business one. So people want, or my client should I say, wants to have like working at a desk type situation. So the studio didn't have one. So this is why I have this very versatile unit. It works really, really well. So I'm gonna set up the studio. I'll show you a little bit on how we replace things. The light is absolutely phenomenal. I've been in the studio a few times, but never been blessed with bright sunny days. So we're gonna get great shadows. It's gonna be phenomenal. Let me show you the studio because it is a beautiful space so we walk in we've got these great big windows so i will probably only use the light for like a little bit of filler because it's just absolutely stunning like it's just so flattering uh and then this is the rest of the studio so we've got great natural light we've got a sofa not sure how much we're going to use that so i'm probably going to move things around a little bit i kind of want the desk perhaps over at the back corner here i think would be great that way then we could do some right here at the window, get a little bit of light, harsh, um, some subtle stuff going on. So I think it's gonna be beautiful. Okay, so I have the studio mostly set up, I think, and my time is, running away from me so i'm gonna go and do some portraits and i don't think i'm gonna shoot behind the scenes because it's already getting warm and i'm gonna have a client turning up in about an hour and a half and thanks to traffic it took me two and a half hours to get to the studio today so you know that crunched an hour of my day <laughs> but yes beautiful setup totally worth it and i will show you some photos from today As always, I really hope that you enjoyed this video, gave you a little insight as to what I'll take with me, what I pack, why I pack it, and how I can kind of convert a space to um, suit my needs, my clients' needs, and it's worth it every time. So if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I would love to come back next week, something a little bit more. If there's something you would like to see, comment below and I will add it to my to-do list.